in today's video, I don't know why I'm saying this. A lot of people have been saying this is one of the best menus of all time. My menu that I'm working on with another guy, incognito client. So first I'm gonna be answering some question, talking about some stuff about the menu. Gotta say first, why haven't you been uploading? It's because that I don't know why I can't sleep. I can't sleep, I only go, I only can sleep at like, 2, 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. That's a lot of deprivation, if I say that correctly. Thing. Uh, this menu is not the best in terms of OP menus. This menu is one of the best in terms of quality and mods. I've literally added an entire simulator mod in this menu. I've added a hardcore mode. I've added the flood mods back. Like, this, in my opinion, this is insane. Yeah, if you want it, I'm sorry to say this, but it's paid. It's five dollars. Uh, I wish I could make it free, but then people will crack it and take the code out of it. But if you want to buy it, it's five dollars. We have a lot of payment methods. You can go into our Discord. Yeah, nonetheless, let's get into the showcase. All right, guys, so, um, uh, so have your joysticks, right joysticks, right. You push your joystick to the right. And then you um, basically go forward a page. Go left, it will go back a page. I think that's pretty basic. And you press your primary or secondary, I don't know how you call it, for like, you know, to enable or disable fe toggle feature. Also, if you can, please ignore that um, GUI. It's uh, currently not removable right now. I'll make it removable soon. But yeah, um,. Yeah. Also, that is for PC support. That's also a GUI. So, um, yeah, just ignore that. So, first is platforms. Hold grip for a platform to appear. Uh, it it's not gonna appear, but it's invisible platforms. At least they work. Next is no clip. Hold your trigger to disable on mesh colliders. Yeah, exactly what it does. Mesh colliders are the colliders of all of the these things. Next is long arms, give you long arms, very simple, um, yeah, I have long arms. Next is safe mode, disables features that have a risk of getting you banned, currently there's none, but when there will be kind of detected features, you can use this to not get banned at all. Next is flight, hold your right primary to fly in the direction of your head, it's not working. Next is speed boost, makes you faster, very good for calm. This is better than most of settings in my opinion. I've been using it, and not a single time has anyone said I'm using a speed boost or MOSA settings. Like, it's absolutely insane. Next is the lag all lags every single player in the game, including you. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Yeah, you you saw that. Um, it doesn't stutter them. It doesn't crash them. A lag goal is a lag goal. It's supposed to lag you, not crash you. And I do not have a crash. Next is the lag on starts lagging the selected person person's application very self-explanatory as you can see um also your rig disappears right uh, i made it so if you hold trigger even though you're not like holding it on the person uh it still disables it so um yeah but we can go to casual we can test it okay next is air monkey hold your right grip to fly flying can be such a fun <laughs> Experience when you actually have realistic physics. Yes, you have realistic physics. Let me show you. Put me into a server mute, everybody, quickly before they say a word. Okay, I just missed. But yeah, basically, Air Monkey, as you can see, it's like the wind turbine, for example, except it's not there because this is the wind turbine. Yeah, but it's kind of fun to use because. You can make a lot of cool stuff with this. And overall, it's just cool to see how you're going through the mountains. Wow. 
I personally just woke up and decided to film this. The sound spammer spams the selected sound, enable it, and it spams it. Uh, you can- okay, this has an indexer. You push your joystick up, aka the right joystick, uh, to increase the sound index, which will change the sound, and push it down to decrease it. Oh, that's Manton. <sighs> but yeah, push it up, and you will hear the sound that you're gonna be spamming. So you can select it, and you will be spamming it. So. Yeah, I'ma, uh, no. Yeah, I'ma select this, and yeah, as you can see, it spams it. Next is Ghost Monkey. You can click your right secondary to disable your rig. Pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Invisible Monkey, same thing, but it makes you invisible. Uh, next is Identity Randomizer color, so if you just click it, yeah. It changed my color to that, and it also, when a new person joins, it changes my color on the board. I meant my, my name. Next are projectile spammers. It also has an index, so you can increase it. You know, I already explained it. So yeah. Um, also, I have a cool little detection thing. It's not visible. Yeah, and he just got scared. Holy f. Woo! -hoo -hoo. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, the normal slingshots. Um, oh, oops. Snowballs. Water balloons. Uh, leaf arrows. This one is my favorite. Love arrows. Rainbow balls. AKA gay balls. Dead shot. Um, magma slingshot and uh, rocks. So that is the projectile spammer. Next is flood. I'm gonna go into a private for this. So flood, basically like the old flood panel. You hold trigger uh, for it to rise, and as you can see, I made it better because the textures can be seen even more. But sadly, it only works in forest and in caves. Well, it is two maps. It's better than one. Now next is bees, uh, this mod recreates the bees mod, originally made by Xenon, one of my friends. Um, it's basically a rig mod, do this, and your rig teleports between everybody. Yeah, they're confused, and they can hear my voice being raspy. This is invisible mode, whenever you go to the main incognito index, it will turn the GUI invisible. So, if I just go back to the things for using incognito clients, it will become invisible because some people complain that they don't like playing the game while it's on the screen. This is a laser gun. This is basically like the slingshot thing, except these are uh, trails, aka lasers, what people call them. So first is the normal ones, um, basic slingshot trails. Next is, uh, I don't know which one these are. Next are rainbow ball trails, uh, love trails, boom, uh, next is, I think this is the spider slingshot trails, um, the, the elf, air, the elf bow, whatever it is, dead shot, and I don't know which one this is, Next is strobe, so, um, guys, seizure warning, seizure warning, I repeat, seizure warning, Anybody? come on, wow, flashing colors, this is taking some time, so I need to kind of, kind of rush this showcase, because my headset has 5% left, so next is RGB, this mod makes it so your, so your rig's color will be, a uh, smooth, uh, rainbow material, yeah. And this is only visible in stump, just like the stroke. So, oh my god, god, you can see your current gravity is normal gravity. Change it with your joystick again. So yeah, low gravity, uh, explanatory. I'm just throwing a private code. Next is high gravity. Yeah, pushes you to the ground very bad. Now next is um, inverted gravity pushes you up like the world is upside down 
or whatever. And when gravity, this pushes you into a random direction, and you can know which direction it's pushing you into by throwing a snowball down. This can change your gravity. No. I, I forgot to change the description. But yeah, it's upside down, as you can see um, in my perspective. Yeah, it's literally upside down. Your rig is disabled, so nobody know, nobody will know that you're actually, you know, messing around upside down in gorilla tag, which uh, that's how it works. Next is hardcore mode. Uh, I made this with a lot of errors, but um, hardcore mode. You get an HP bar. Every time you get tagged, you lose 10 HP. Every time you get hit by a slingshot, you lose 1 HP. And every time you jump from a high enough distance, or just jump high enough, to be honest, you will lose HP. That's why it's called Hardcore Mode, guys. And I just lost 25. I don't know when I lost it, but... Alright. I'm just gonna... Look, I'm running so fast. That is detecting... Okay, and my game just quit. My headset died, but we can still use this GUI right here to go, like, explore the simulator. Yeah, insane. Hey okay, guys, so I mysteriously got 69, whatever that number is, um, golden rocks and 69,000 rocks. So yeah, it's very mysterious, but yeah, at least we're gonna show you what these do. So increase rocks, it will put a one value onto how much rocks you get per second. So yeah, as you can see, you get one rock, we buy it. And now as you can see, we get two rocks, so we can buy, 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 buy. And we're gonna get more rocks per second. Also, I like the sound, this is very satisfying. Now next is rock clicker. Basically, every time you click the trigger, you um you get 10 rocks. So um yeah, you can buy it and you bought it as you can see right here. Uh now next is normal helper box as you can see with legendary helpers etc etc. I buy it and I got a basic monkey which doubles my speed. Ice monkey, wow, which gives me random rocks for like three seconds and give me that legendary please oh my god no i skipped through it every 20 seconds you get a random amount of golden rocks so yeah and mystery box you can get a mythical so Slingshot monkey, nothing. Right. And we got tornado monkey helper. Basically, you can dash with this with this thing. You can dash, and it also gives you a random amount of rocks every second, which is pretty OP. Okay. And oh, we got mythical already. We get ten gold rocks every second, so it's basically a gold mine to get this. Basically, developer monkey is me, guys. So uh. If you guys get this mod, please, please get me. Get me, please. Also, if you're a YouTuber, I might actually add a crate and you can become one of the rarest rarities. Um, but if you do want to become one of these types of things, then uh, yeah, uh, message me on Discord. Basically, simulator mod. Next is clo copy closest movements made by Daddy Red. <laughs> Yeah, Rev, aka uh, the other developer in this project, yes, uh, he uh, calls himself Daddy Rev, so I should call him too. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I toggled the feature, I copied his movements. Um, yeah. Also, you know what's so cool? Your your rig does not change. Your rig does not change, as you can see right here. Uh, I'm closer to this guy than that guy. But it keeps your rig on them. It is Material All Master and it's also made by Rev, Daddy Rev. So I'm actually too rate lazy to um, wait for Master. So I'm just gonna do this in a public server. Um, you might not see it because it's a rock monkey, so. 
yeah, you can hear it. Also, the cool thing about it is it doesn't lag your game, so that's why I like it. That's why I like it. It doesn't lag your game.